Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'll be taking you guys about, about the bug reproduction course. I'll be taking you through the bug reproduction course. And as you can see, I'm at my dashboard right now. So we'll go through the bug reproduction course. Then there's the exploratory testing course. And I'll take you through. They're quite long, but I'll just skip to the important part. So just bear with me. So come to your screen and click on open course under bug reproduction. So here they give you basic instructions about what the reproduction course is about, how long it will take, and what you'll learn. So let's click on next. So over here you have articles. So below the Chester Academy articles that you can use to learn everything about submitting reproductions on our platform. So basically you'll read through this and they'll have assessments at the end it's like after this so let's just click on next kindly make sure you read through the courses because you'll need the most of the information but let me just help you out with this part but make sure you read you read through okay so for the first questions where can you submit a bug reproduction so for the first year uh, in the similar bug reports list on the right hand side of the bug reproduction form and the second answer will be on your tester dashboard in section bugs you can reproduce okay on to the next question what is the negative reproduction so basically this is when you can't get the same results as someone who reproduced the bug or someone who found the bug so a reproduction that shows you cannot replicate the described bug on your device after following the same steps Okay, so let's go to the next question. What are requirements for the bug reproduction attachment at Test.io? So attachment is basically like a screencast. Um, a screen a screencast is a screen recording of your of your screen, and also an, an attachment, a crash file log. Those are basically attachments you have to attach to your bug reproduction. So what are requirements? So first, you have to show the current date and the screen sh the screencast should not be la longer than 15 seconds and you should only show the action trigger in the bug screen bug reproduction attachments should be short because you're not showing the whole process of finding the bug you're only showing the action that triggered the bug what the issue was so what two requirements must be, met, must be met in order to receive pay, payout for bug reproduction? So first of all, you have, your bug reproduction has to be accepted by Test.io. That, that is a must. Uh, the TL has to have approved the original bug report. Yes, that is also true. Is, it is enough if the timeline of uh, the team leader approves the original bug report. No, that's not enough. Test.io also has to approve it. If the reproduction is accepted by Tester, irrespective of the original bug, depends. Cause if the bug, if the original bug was a fake, or was rejected by Tester, your team leader, then you won't get the chance to even reproduce it. So on to the next question. In which cases can you submit a bug reproduction? You can never submit your own bug reproduction after you found the bug. You can never. So the bug report has already been reviewed by the customer. That is also no. If it has already been reviewed, the customer that, that means people already made bug reproductions, and the bug was forwarded to the customer, and the customer either rejected it or accepted it. So we have two answers here. The bug report hasn't been approved, hasn't been reviewed by the TM, the TL, and there's still available reproduction spot. And if there's also five hours left until the test ends, that means you have time to find bugs and other people might find bugs and you may get the chance to reproduce them so on to the next question what should be improved about the following reproduction attachment for the reproduction to be accepted by test IU? okay let's open the video uh -huh. sorry sorry for that so as you can see this is the get section and as you can see here, the TLs, the TL commented the attachment in the bug report does not meet our quality standards. 
you provided a picture that that does not show a bug. So basically, this guy provided something that has no details. And first things first, you need to only show the URL, URL, sorry, the link to where you found your bug, or the application name to where you found your bug, and also show the date as I stated before. So those are the two answers. It's not too long. It's not too short because it's a photo. You you can't even you can't categorize a photo in, into that statement. So basically, those are the answers. Uh, will this reproduction be accepted by Testio? Okay, let's look at it. An app crash reproduced on an Apple iPhone 11 Pro Max in Safari. Can you reproduce this bug? Yes. So if you can reproduce, this is basically what a reproduction, uh, a reproduction, a uh, reproduction file looks like. So when you're submitting a bug reproduction, this is what you see. Can you reproduce this bug? Yes. The selected device you want to report the reproduction for. So we already told it's an iPhone, iPhone, iPhone 11 Pro Max in Safari. Eh? So you can see this person selected Apple AirPod 2 and he selected Chrome. So first of all, that is wrong. You're supposed to select the phone that you selected to do the reproduction for. So it's an Apple, it's an Apple, sorry. It's an Apple iPhone 11 Pro Max. So you're supposed to select the iPhone 11 Pro Max Safari. Upload a screenshot or a screencast, yes. And you were told there was an app crash. So you also have to upload a crash log file. So a crash log file is basically... As you read, uh, do the, the articles. So there's a lot of information. And so you can understand most of these terms, uh, become familiar with them. And you can also, they also give you pointers on how to like download the crash log file onto your phone and etc so make sure you just read through the articles and for a final question the reproduction will be rejected as the wrong device is selected uh, okay the reproduction will be rejected as a crash log file is missing okay so basically those are all the questions and if you guys want us to do a part two let's finish and see our results first boom we passed the quiz. Uh, you currently answered, okay, how comes? Where can you submit a bug reproduction? In the similar bug, my answer was similar bug reports list. On your tester dashboard, so what's the correct answer? On your tester dashboard, okay, when viewing another, oh, okay, okay. So basically didn't select one of the answers. And yeah, so basically we passed the test, make sure you select the answer. And if you guys want another, if you guys want another video on how we do the, Exploratory, exploratory testing make sure you hit me up on the comment section down below i can always make time uh make sure you share like and subscribe this video don't don't forget to share it. and yeah see you guys next time let's make some money
and the reproduction of the